What is up, YouTube? This is that Asian dude, and I'm gonna bring you guys an offensive tip. Um, so yeah. Anyways, this tip is gonna be many different ways you could run screenplays, and I know it may sound really simple, but there are different ways where you could mix it up and make it much better. So the first way is a screen that I like to run quite a lot, and uh, you could you could sort of make this up in many different formations. But I'll just call gun normal because that seems the most simplest. But uh, you want the guy in the slot right now. I have Jacoby Jones, and you know he's pretty fast, so I'll leave him there. So gun normal, and uh, I just find a halfback screen, halfback slip screen, and uh, we'll just run it against random play. So here, let's move the ball back a little bit. Alright, so uh, the way I run screen sometimes is uh, I'll put the running back on a wheel route and uh, I'll put the slot in a, fl in a drag and I'll, you could, you could put the outside receiver on a streak or a fade but it doesn't really matter. But anyways, this is what it's supposed to look like and uh, you, you just hit the drag route when he's coming across and it gives you like a little um, makeshift screen. And uh, it's, a, it's a good play to catch your opponent off guard because he will automatically go to the running back. If you run this uh, your first time, if you run this, your uh, opponent, he will go straight for the running back because obviously that's what he th uh, that's what he thinks you're going to throw it to. And um, you could catch him off guard, throw it to the slot receiver. And you got, you got the same blocks for the running back to your um, slot. And uh, you could just even run it the same way. It does not matter. Um, so yeah, that's that's one way you could run it. And uh, another way you could run it is if you go into a form. Here, let's see if I have a form uh, or a play in this formation like that. Um, uh, well, I don't really have the exact one, but just go into any uh. Just go into any, what is that, shotgun formation with the two running backs in the backfield, even if it's fullback or tight end. And uh, what you want to do is you want to put both of those on uh, out route to the side you're going to run the screen to. And at this point, you're going to you're gonna want to throw the screen to RB, which is the opposite running back of the opposite screen. And just put both of them on a out route, or you could even put one of them on a wheel route. does not matter. But this is a bad example because of the way the running backs are lined up but you guys get the idea just run it uh on, on different formations and uh, you'll be good to go um that's what it's supposed to look like just throw the out route whenever he uh, cuts inside or cuts out uh just bullet pass it and follow your blockers and that's self-explanatory and um I can't remember the exact different screens that uh, you could run this or different screens I'm going to show you guys but uh, we'll see what I could find um, and another screen I like to run is um, if you go into any pistol formation basically so any pistol formation and uh, just find a screenplay a halfback slip screen and uh, what I would do is I would always put the running back on an out route to the side it's the screens on just you could keep everything the same does not matter it's all up to you and the, I don't know why but the out route it works much better than just running the regular screen because I don't know I feel like I don't know I guess that's just me but um I don't feel like that's effective as much and yeah if like that happens to me a lot of times so when you put them on out route it that never happens um right that I should have thrown it a little bit earlier but you guys know what I'm talking about um, I don't know. I just like it when you put the running back on the out route better. I uh, feel like you get much better, um, much better response from your running back so you can catch it. And um, yeah, uh, that's the third way, I think. Yeah, that's the third way or something. And I remember there was another way, but I can't remember. Oh, and I want to talk to you guys that um, not every screen works, and you got to pick the screens correctly. And more for the, I don't know why, but lots of screens that they don't they're not really effective, and uh, that's only for a couple like different formations too. And um, I feel uh, when I play, the best way to throw the screen is either in like gun tray open where like um, where it's like you see one receiver on one side and everyone everyone else going on a route is on another side, where the running back is on 
the weaker side I guess and just yeah so gun tray open is a good example of it um, gun normal gun, gun normal offset things like that and I was gonna show you guys something again um, I have no idea what it was oh well yeah yeah that's basically it guys um another oh yeah here this is what I was talking about another formation is tight offset tight end this is a really good formation too uh, to run the screen out of split screen right um, and uh, all you're gonna do is put the outside receiver on a drag and you'll be good to go and sometimes I'll be in motion the guy in a drag inward so he gets a little more speed boost and right there I didn't follow my blocks correctly but you guys see the general idea um, it's just it's just a good um, play to run even uh, just try not to go up against any like a uh, high play rec dudes um, if like safety start to come down try not to run it but that's up to you guys um, anyways uh, thanks for watching guys I uh, hope you guys like this offensive tip um, and yeah uh, you could catch your opponents off guard real nice uh, using these plays. Uh, don't use it every play because obviously that's not going to work, but just use it once in a while. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed.